Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, La Nathan, Ka Halam La Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakodash. This means to give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Tham Asana Kabbalah La Hajikarim Shai as Allah, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel, which is the pastors and elders of Great Millstone, who teach them well. Shalom wa ahab la haba khaya shayas Allah, which means peace and love to the Lake of Israel. Come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha Kodash, Anabora Ana, from Jeremy Smith's Carol. Let's get <coughs> this lesson to be on this article. You know, it's like for the background noise and uh, plantation. But the lesson about the article from CBS News dealing with the signs of heaven. And they say how to watch a real five planet alignment this weekend, published June 16th, 2023, which is the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass. So, right, man, these are signs in heaven. They say five planets will align on June 17th in a rare astronomical event. The planetary alignment will include Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, Uranus, and Mercury. The planets will rise slowly throughout the night with different planets visible at different times according to the astronomy guide out on uh, Star Walk. So here's how to see the planet, you know, what is the planetary alignment. A planetary alignment actually has two definitions. According to Star Walk, where planets gather on one side of the sun at the, at the, sun, at the same time, that's a planet, planetary alignment. The term can also apply when planets appear close together and seen from Earth in the small sections of the sky. And it's just crazy how it was just peace and quiet, and, you know, now all you hear is fucking engine running and shit, but it's all good. Let's continue. So the planets will form a line, but not necessarily a straight one because planets operate on different elliptical, elliptical orbits. For some angles, they may appear to be in a straight line. So when it's June 2023 planetary alignment, the alignment will be best visible on the night of June 16th until the morning of June 17th. The best time to see all five planets in the sky will be an hour before sunrise. Um, it said the alignment may be visible for a few days before and after the 16th, depending on where you are in the world. So, right, so you get the points, you know. They said, what's the best way to watch the five planets align three other planets jupiter mercury and Saturn, will be bright and visible with the naked eye however the remaining two planets neptune uranus will require at least a pair of binoculars according to star walk so so yeah that's it would it be more planetary alignment 2023 he said that there was already one five planet alignment this year in March. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Uranus, and Mars appear in the, in the night sky after sunset late in the month. The best day to see the event was March 28th, so that already happened. Then they said there will be another alignment later in the summer, according to Star Walk. That alignment will take place in July and be best visible on July 22nd. So it will future just three planets with Mars, Venus, and Mercury appearing in the evening sky. So the next planetary alignment with five with five or more planets won't be until April 2024. So right, so we're gonna get it. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord Yahweh speak speak it unto you, O house of Israel, right? O house of Israel. The house of Israel consists of your so-called Negroes, blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And wherever Israel has been scattered to due to the curses whose spirit goes back to Israelite. This word, this Bible, is for you. So hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. The true name, his only begotten son name, the uh, true name is Yahweh Shah. So hear these words. Verse 2, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, or the heathens. You look at the so-called UFOs, for example. Esau is afraid. That's why he coming out with BS articles talking about UFOs crash or it's something called Area 51. No, I don't believe that BS, man. Don't believe it. Learn not the way to hear and see. The UFOs, so-called UFOs, which are IFOs, right? Those are chariots of our salvation. Those are our salvation vehicles. 
What did our ancestors uh, sing in slavery? Sweet, low, sweet cherry, right? So don't be dismayed to so-called your foes. This how you this is a ticket to get out of uh, to escape the second death if you're part of the Lord's elect, because it's all about the elect at the end of the day. But the signs of heaven. I go to the word sign. In the Hebrew, it say a what sign signal, a distinguished mark, a banner, remembrance, miraculous sign, an omen, warning, and that's the point I want it, a warning. You know, the signs of heaven. You see the blood moon, lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, all those are signs of heaven. I want to say it was just a strawberry moon uh, a week ago, man. <laughs> you know, uh, this just came to mind. Let's get this Joel too. At uh, what's that? Let me see, sir. Yeah, Joel two and third, and I will show wonders in the heavens and the earth, blood and fire, pillars of smoke. The sun should be turned to darkness and the moon into blood before the great and in the terrible day of the Lord come. So right. So that is a warning. So the Most High, Yahweh Shem I always give warning. Do uh, his prophets, do signs in the earth. We seen it. We seen upwards of the people, earthquakes, volcanoes, natural disaster, pestilence. So these are all signs, especially what uh, blood moves and this right here. This is like a new, um, <laughs> you know, this is like a, a strange wonder. You know, I speak of this man on that, which led me to Sirach 36 and 6. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that that may set forth their wondrous works. So show new signs, man. You know, and that's exactly what the Lord is doing, man. Showing signs in the earth. And then you know that he is about to come. That's the one. That's why the scripture says Joel in the same book. You jump up to verse 1. It says, blow you the trump and Zion. Right, Jerusalem. People before it's a place. Right? You Israelites out there, man. We blowing that trumpet via the prophets, you know, out there on the highways and byways, man. Start with the apostles and elders on down. You blowing that trumpet, crying out loud, spell or not. Telling you what? It said, blow you the trumpet, Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Why? For the day of the Lord coming. It's coming. For it is not at hand. Well, it's, it's arriving in due time. The day of the Lord is coming. How was shy is on its way back. How we know? Look at the signs in the, in the heaven. Look at the signs there upon earth. What right, it's saying in the, in the book of Habakkuk. I'm going to give it an end. You know, Habakkuk 2 and 3. It said, for the vision, and, and again, the word vision in the Hebrew, Chazan 1. I'm going to just pull it up. The spirit. Chazan 1, meaning what? Oracle. Prophecy, divine communication. So prophecy. So what? For the vision, for the prophecy is yet for a point of time, but at the end is to speak and not lie. So the end is speaking loud and clear. How we know? Because prophecy is speaking. Especially what you hear in the news, right? The uh, the technology. <laughs> Revelation 13 and 16, that device. The sea hill, you know? <laughs> so but at the end is to speak and not lie that we tear it, wait for it, because it will surely come and we're not tear it. So wait, you know, T, this vision, this prophecy is for a future time, right? That device, right, is for a future time. <laughs> what? At the end. It describes the end. The RFID microchip describes the end. <laughs> Come on, man. That is the mark of the beast, man. It's saying, and it will be fulfilled. Right? It's going to be fulfilled. It's going to be fulfilled. And I'm not giving out medical advice or nothing like that. It said, if it seems slow and coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Right? It's going to take place in your lifetime. That's why the scriptures say, it's Ezekiel 33 and 33. Let's get it. And when this come to pass, what come to pass? The prophecy. But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, then they will know a prophet has been among them. That was in the NOT of Ezekiel 33 and 33. All the terrible things that should come upon them, especially what? Jacob's trouble. And that's what we were prophesying about. That Jacob's trouble is coming. The devil come down with great wrath because he had, cause he know he had but a short time. That's coming. You know? So, and when this come to pass, Lord, it will come. Then should they know that prophet had been among them. Like a prophet, you know, stone deposits and elders GMS, been telling you, warning you, that the great day, dreadful day, terrible day of the Lord is coming. So warn to you that desire 
the day of the Lord. For one end, is it for you? It's because it's coming. We're seeing the signs. The Most High give our signs. You know, the, the end speaking loud and clear. Right? So let's end it with Luke 21, 28. It says, And when these things begin to come to pass, what things begin to come to pass? Prophecy. Prophecy. It's all about prophecy, which is the spirit, the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Revelation 19 and 10. Then lift up your head. So like, then look up. Like, look up. You seen the blood moons, the solar eclipse, the uh, disc right here. The five planets will be aligned June 17th, which is tomorrow, right? We seen it. Most of giving us signs, man. And guess what? The earth is spinning faster than ever. <laughs> Time is speeding up for the elect, the elect sake, man. In the same book, it would say verse 8, Sake the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare that wonderful works. So we asking the Lord to continue to show the day, speed up the time, you know, for the elect's sake. And that's exactly what he's doing, because it's all about the elect, man. So it's saying, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption drawing now, right? Our salvation is near. So now it's high time to wake and sleep. Romans 13 and 11. So Lord, one of this lesson was edifying to the elect, you're going in on that. You know, you know the signs of heaven. You see. So once again, give our praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Chakodash, the bondage to the apostles and elders of great men's stone, teaching well, peace and love to let with that shalom. Come as Allah, Baba.